Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Envira Style Apparel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to town and I'm going to see what charity shops are open. Um, see what we can find. So let's go shopping and see what I can get. Right guys, so that was a little glimpse of me on the bus looking around nervously. It was actually a good trip today. There was hardly anyone around. So I went into our local Bernardo's, which is in Hull City Centre. It is a great charity shop. If you are from this area, give it a visit. It's a brilliant charity for children and yeah, it's a very worthwhile cause. They have a lot of good stuff in there. Um, just because I don't buy everything doesn't mean that there are other good things. So great things for you to wear personally or things to buy to sell. Obviously, I don't buy absolutely everything because I can't. I don't have an indispensable amount of cash. I wish I did. That will be to come anyway when this is successful. So... I am currently only looking at certain things when I go to charity shops. It is a new strategy I'm trying out. Um, I'm looking at what stock I've got at home and what I can buy to, you know, what I need to top up on. And I'm only, I'm being very, very picky about what I get. So I'm not going to give you any clues to what I've bought in this video. I'm going to let you wait till the end to see what I actually got. So stay tuned. I did get some really good things. I'll probably tell you at the end of this footage, but I did a pact with myself in here that I, if I spent over £50, that I wasn't going to go to another charity shop. And I spent 51 <laughs> So I stuck to my guns and I went home. Um, I had enough to carry anyway because I'd been shopping for other things, personal items that I won't bore you with. But yeah, um, successful shop. Um, I did try and go in a few more, but because I went into town early today to try and avoid people in general, um, I didn't get to go to many because they were all shut. Um, so yeah, I managed to go back to this one. What I did was I had a walk around town after I'd got what I wanted. Um, there was a couple that were opening up but weren't quite open. So when I went back to the this one, this was the first one I sort of went back on myself to and it was open. So yeah, it was fate because I was actually on my way to another one and this one was open. So it was fate that I went in there today. I believe in fate massively and I think the other ones can't have had anything in for me today or nothing that I would have wanted to pay the amounts for. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on for a bit and talk to you when I get to something interesting, as always. <laughs> Enjoy, guys.
if there is anything that you think I should have picked up, I mean, look at that dress. It was great, that. Really, really cool. Really unique. Didn't buy it. Now I think maybe I should have. Do any of you do that? Do you go to a shop and then regret something that you didn't get? Now, I've done that before with a Gina Bacconi dress and... I really regretted not buying it. So I sent my husband back for it the next day and luckily it was still there. So yeah, and then I went on to sell it. It was £12 and I went on to sell it for 100 So it was definitely worth it. But that's the only time I've ever gone back and bought something. This shop in particular does sales every now and again. They do like they either do a half price sale or they do a pound rail. Now I think the pound rail is like the last resort for getting rid of stock. But they do do a half price, like a cross event. Um, I don't know. I think it's a red cross event in this one. So every now and again, they do put things down by half price. And me and Rob always say that if there's something that I've left, because I think it's a bit too expensive or whatever, then I may go back at some point and it might be half price and I'll pick it up. This happened a couple of times in here. See if you can spot when it happens. Um, I see something. I love it. I have a good look at it. And yeah, it's too expensive. So I'll put it back. But half price, I may dabble. Let's see if they actually do that. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, I have a lot of funny habits when I go shopping. I want to hear about yours anyway. So if you've got any funny habits you do when you're picking up stuff to sell or picking up stuff in general for charity shops, you know, from charity shops to, to uh, wear, let me know because I love to hear all these quirky things we all do. Um, I hate it because um, sometimes I get a bit bored when I'm looking through things and I don't realise and I zone out and I don't even look at labels anymore. I just flick through and then I have to go back on myself to what I've missed. I am sorry about the footage on this if I make you feel a bit sick. Um, I throwing my camera around a lot. Right, I loved that coat, the um, purple Laura Ashley one that you just got a glimpse of. I didn't buy it um, just because I couldn't carry it, but it was so nice. It was wool. Um, I'm thinking I maybe I should have got that, but like Rob said to me, you know, if it's still there when you go again with me, then uh, get it. So I might have to. I might have to dabble. I don't know what size it was. I didn't actually catch that in the footage. I think it was my size, but that's not always a good thing because as we know, I always want to uh, keep things. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm a bit of a bit of a bugger for wanting to keep stuff. Does anyone else find that? I found also that a lot of brands that I used to buy before, I'm just scooting on past them now and not even bothering because I've learned which are good and which aren't. Um, I think as long as you're learning as you go, it's always good. Always good. Right, well, I'll be back if there's something interesting to talk about, but at the minute I am just blabbering on, so I apologise for that. At least um, I'm covering up the music on the video so I don't get done for copyright. <laughs> So if you haven't gathered, the things that I need to stock up on at the moment are dresses, jumpers, coats, jeans and skirts. I did put a bit of skirt footage um, in here originally, but my camera twisted the footage round, so it was the wrong way around. So I deleted that, pretty sharpish. Um, they had a few coats in here, super dry coats, and they wanted £20 for each of them. Do we think that's expensive? I think it is. I mean, I'd pay £10 for one in the hopes of getting 30 back, maybe 40 but I think that is quite steep. Um, but there are people that will go in there to buy them for themselves, so it's all cool. Um, you know, if someone wants a super dry coat and they can't afford to go to super dry, go to Bernardo's. But yeah, for reselling, not fantastic. So I had to leave those behind. But yeah, let's see if you can spot um what i was sort of battling with i don't think it's really obvious in the footage and i am sorry about the angles on this i'm showing more prices than actual labels of things but a lot of this wasn't 
you know, anything special anyway. It's all quite high street type stuff. Nice things, but just nothing you can really make a great deal of money on. Um, I have decided to put my um, standards higher because, number one, we're running out of room in this house. I'm not even kidding. There is um, more clothes dotted around than anything else. And number two, I want to try and make my business stronger and get better profits. So yeah, let me know what you do. What are your strategies in your business and how are you looking to make it better? These are the shoes. To be honest, I wasn't feeling shoes today. I didn't really even look at them properly. I just showed you them in the footage. I did have a look at the toys though. Right, here's some jackets. I really like that one. That red one was beautiful, but yeah, it was a bit short. Don't do short jackets. Um, yeah, they had loads of really nice coats in here today. But like I said, I was in town by myself. So I didn't really want to be carrying heavy stuff. Otherwise, I'd have been crying like a baby because I'm a bit of a princess. I need somebody to carry my bags for me. Um, I could do with actual, you know, some sort of person to do that for me i should employ somebody when hubby can't do it that's a great idea put it for the books all is good <laughs> anyway after me saying about copyright music and everything i decided to mute the footage um so yeah if you're a bit confused about why it's silent and i'm cl cl clattering coat hangers and you can't hear it that is why um, I thought better safe than sorry because I've had a video removed before because of music in the background and sometimes it's not even that you know, that obvious what song it is or whatever, but whoever it is that does these things picks up on it and shuts your video down. So bear that in mind if you are a YouTuber. Um, we've got to sort of go by these rules and make sure that we do everything right. I hate doing these videos. I always worry that people are going to clock me um, filming and ask me what I'm doing. Excuse me, why are you filming? <laughs> are you filming me? Why are you filming the clothes? That's weird. I do get the odd funny look. Um, someone asked me a while ago if I actually chat on the videos whilst I'm in the shop. And I was like, no, it's weird enough that I'm actually filming without talking to myself as well. So I do that after. <laughs> anyway, hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching. Wait to the end to see what I bought. It's good. I'd be brave and try and do a bit of a recording while I'm out. <laughs> so I'm waiting for my bus now. I've got some really good things. I hope you like my beard. I think it suits me. Anyway, I bought a few things for myself. So um, I've only been able to go in one charity shop because most of them were shut. But um, yeah, I'll show you when I get back. Right, so I'm back home now. This is my bag of stuff. Um, I only ended up going in one charity shop because I went past a few that were shut and then I went in this one and I made a deal with myself that I would only spend £50. And um, If I spend over £50 then I wouldn't go anywhere else and I spent £51. Now I know that sounds crazy but I just thought I've gone over what I said so that was it, I came home. So I'd already been to a few other places and bought some things for myself so I couldn't carry so much. I was out on my own today so yeah I just went to one. So I went to Bernardo's in Hull City Centre which I love. It's a great charity shop. Obviously a brilliant cause as well. So yeah I will show you what I got. So I spent £9 on this. It is a size 14. It is new with tags. Um, it is a cursed dress. And it's absolutely amazing. Look at this for some 80s nostalgia feeling dress. It's just great. I love it. It's brand new with tags as well, like I've said. And it's just completely mismatched pattern, but all polka dot, sweetheart neckline. It actually has some straps inside as well for you to attach. It's like a corset feel at the top. Beautiful. So yeah, I paid £9 for this. Let me know if you think I paid too much. I think it's a fine amount to pay. Now, with Cursed, 
I don't normally pick it up anymore unless it's something really good because it can hang around and a lot of cursed stuff that I find is either quite dated or it's just stuff that's saturated like black dresses and things like that but this is really cool I just think somebody will love this and I think it could go quite quickly so anyway I'm going to put it up for £50 um, I may put it up for a little bit more. I think on the tag it says it's worth 150 Um, actually brand new. So I might try 75 and see how I get on. But yeah, I love that. Really nice. Um, I was really excited when I found it just because of the style. Now this is one of my usual finds that I'm finding a lot at the minute. Um, but I can never leave it behind. This was £8. It is a maxi dress size 14 and it's vintage Laura Ashley. Can never leave vintage Laura Ashley behind. And I'll just see if I can show you. Look, it's like a flared out skirt. It's gorgeous. I'll show you the pattern. It's really nice, like a floral. It's like a navy blue, um, like a thin dress. And I just think it's lovely. I'm gonna try to, to get 40 to 50 for that. Um, just because it's vintage. I love vintage Laura Ashley. I just can never leave it. I'm a bit of a sucker for it. Right, then this was £6. Um, it says on it, size 5. I um, <laughs> don't know quite what they mean by that, but it's Mark Kane. There we go. And I just love the straps. These are leather as well. It says, actually on the... Um, tag inside that they are leather straps it's just lovely it's a very small size now Mark can do their sizes in a letter and a number so this is N2 and um, it's got a colour number it's cotton and vico and polyamide um yeah it's just it's a maxi dress anyway it's a small size so I need to try and work out what size it is by looking at the website so yeah it's got these which i really like the belted straps and it's like an animal print i would say giraffe let me know what you think in the comments it's lovely it sort of goes faded to not faded um yeah it's really nice i really like that i'm probably going to put that on for about 75 again i've sold my cane a few times and it goes very well so next one i found this was six pounds it's a size eight and it's an east maxi dress there you go i always pick up east i love it this is gorgeous it's got purple colors in and green it's got all these lovely beads on the front and yes they are all there look at it it's quite tribal i really love this and it's very stretchy so I think even though it's a size 8, it could actually fit quite a lot of sizes. It's just really nice. Again, 30 to 40 for this. No, 40, 40 to 50 for this actually, because it's East. It's a good make. Then, picked up this. £7, size 12. This is phase 8. Let me find the tag for you. There we go. Phase 8, size 12. I just love this with it coming up to Christmas. It's a glittery fur wrap dress black glitter absolutely gorgeous look at that it's really lovely and it's got this detail at the front there look and like i say it's fur wrap so it looks like a wrap dress when it's on but it actually isn't very nice i reckon 40 45 40 45 for that um, I'm going to show you the best thing last. Although I do really love the cursed dress. I think that was really cool. But I found this. £5. This is a burden. Um, size 10. Jumper. And it's 100% wool. Now I think this is worth at least £30. Maybe a little bit more. I might put it on for £35. Maybe £40. Free postage. It's really nice, pink and ivory stripes, long sleeved, perfect for this time of year. Yeah, I think that was a good buy. I think it'll go quite quick as well because burden tends to. 
This is my last one. I love this. I'm really excited about this one. I paid £10 for this. It's a size 10. It is Joseph Ribcroft. Um, Ribcroft, sorry. Made in Canada. It's Creations. If anyone knows anything about the Joseph Ribcroft Creations um, line, let me know. Because I don't. This is a size 10, but I just absolutely love it. Look at this. It is a long dress i'm just gonna put it against me it's, it's midi but it could be maxi on the right person it's like a sailor dress sweetheart neckline it does have straps and um, it's got a back zip i just think it's really cool i'm gonna aim high for this i'm gonna put this on for about 100 i think because it's smart as obviously accept offers and um, my offers i'll probably do over 65 but look at that isn't it beautiful and the funny thing is said to my husband when I got home it's got a little mark here and I said I saw it in the charity shop but I've kept it anyway and I went like that and it came off <laughs> it does need to go through the wash it's been worn and it's got deodorant marks but I can cope with that for such an amazing unique looking dress I can cope with that so yeah I'm gonna stick that on for a hundred and see how I go Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for regular content, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.